Okay, let's have a look at the Daily Mail front page, and it's the most awful story, I'm afraid. And it's about this attack on Salman Rushdie. Rushdie stabbed up to 15 times. Sir Salman Rushdie was undergoing emergency surgery last night after being stabbed in the neck on stage in America. I'll get full reaction from Nick and David on that shortly. Next up, the Telegraph, Rushdie stabbed a literary festival. Also, uh, drought officially declared in England after driest July since 1935. Blimey, 1976. Eat your heart out. The Guardian next, Rushdie stabbed on stage at an event in New York. Author was attacked by masked man as he prepared to give a lecture. Flown by helicopter to hospital and attacker arrested. Uh, also, The Guardian running with that drought story. Drought declared in many areas as crops start to fail. Water companies urge to introduce immediate hosepipe bans in England to protect agriculture. FT now and debt payment and welfare bill set to soar. Servicing costs tipped to hit 95 billion. New Prime Minister faces a public finance crunch. Also, Rushdie stabbed. Satanic versus author attacked 33 years after the fatwa. The Mirror next. Drought until the autumn, say the Daily Mirror. 21 million facing a hosepipe ban. And Rushdie stabbed, author attacked in US 33 years after Iran fatwa for writing the satanic verses. The Express have the same story, someone Rushdie stabbed in frenzied attack on stage. Uh, they're claiming he was stabbed up to 15 times, although we're hearing on the news wires he was certainly stabbed once in the neck and once in the abdomen, but we'll bring you more as we get it. And last but not least, the Daily Star... Um, Rushdie stabbed 10 times, say the star, but they've also got levity because they are the star. Unexpected good news as drought hits Britain. Nice beavers, say the Daily Star. As reservoirs and rivers run dry, boffins reveal the furry favourite that is the beaver could be the answer to our problems. Rivers which are home to magnificent beavers are less likely to dry up, according to the National Trust. And those are your front pages.